Starbucks coffee. And the Chucky mug. It's about almost October. This mug's pretty much appropriate. The Pike Place Roast. some pumpkin pie. currently 82 degrees here in Charlestown, Rhode Island. It's a little cloudy, a little muggy, a little damp on the ground. Had some rain last night. But yeah, we're here hanging out with you guys with a nice hot cup of coffee over here on the picnic table with Mr. Chucky near the fire pit. Cheers to you campers, friends to the end. Mmm. Gotta love a good cup of coffee in the morning. Always gonna have my two cups of coffee. <clears throat> Anyways, today is something a little different. I know I used to do these vlogs for you guys all the time, or every once in a while. But it's kind of a sad day here at camp. I call this camp. You guys know that. As of recent, we've been here renting this house, this property here, for over 25 years. Almost 30 years, but the house next door through the woods over there. Let me see. I'm going to see if I can. The house through there. We, we started off renting that house over 25 years ago. Uh, this house here, the, the people that lived here before us moved out and we went from that small ranch and we literally, there was a path and we walked furniture through the woods over there to this house. And we've been here ever since, our family. We've moved occasionally, but then we've moved back in here, but my, fam my other family members lived here, but then we moved back in here. So anyways, that being said, Recently, the landlord that owns this property, he also owned that property. He sold that one a while ago, and now our buddy Mike lives over there. Anyways, he called us up, the landlord, and said, I've decided to sell the house. And originally, he's, he gave us four months to be out, evict us in four months. And, and we were like, you know, that sucks. But at the same time, we have four months to find a place. And we want to try to find a place here in, in town because our kids have been going to the school and they have their friends and we don't want to leave this district. And then a week later, he called us up. He sent a certified letter in the mail. And the letter said we had until October 15th to be out. We called him up and we said, what is this? We've been renting from you for over 25 years. Now you're going to give us less than a month to be out of our house? That's not enough time. And he said, "He, we have no choice. He, he's kind of being a dick. I don't know what the hell the problem is. We've never had a problem with this guy before, ever. And it, it, it's a signed, certified letter, so... It is what it is. We have to be out by October 15th. So we've been really stressed out trying to find a place, especially something that's going to accommodate us. We can't, right at this point in time, we cannot buy a house. If we could buy a house, it would be a lot easier to find a house to buy here in town. But rentals are near to impossible to find a two to three bedroom house rental. We found like one to two bedroom apartments, but they're really shitty and and on top of that rentals house rentals around here 
you're talking anywhere between 1900 a month to $3,000 a month. Most of them are about $2,300, $2,400 a month for a two to three bedroom house. So it's pretty crazy. It's pretty ridiculous. But anyways, me making this vlog here for you guys today is basically a, a farewell to camp. A farewell to this property that we've been at. And I wanted to bring you guys on the ride today. One last vlog here on the property. It's I didn't want to go out this way, but here I'm going to turn the camera around and talk and show you guys some of the stuff as I drink my coffee. I just want to thank you guys for joining this video, this vlog here today. This is for the, the true fans because I know a lot of people are going to run into this video online and be like, what am I watching? I don't, they're gonna shut it off right away, but I don't care about that. This video is about just talking about memories here and hanging out with the true fans while we drink the coffee. Mm. Sorry if I'm a little shaky. I've said this before, I'll say it again. See this pine tree over here? This tree here a little statue down there. What is it? The squirrel one. It broke. A little squirrel statue. This pine tree here, it stands about 30 feet tall, give or take. 20, no, about 20 feet, 25 feet. This tree was, we planted it. It was about like this big or a seed. I, I can't remember. And now look at it. I almost want to take it with us, <laughs> dig out the roots and get it on a truck and bring it to wherever we go. But I guess it doesn't really work that way. So it's, it's sad because we've grown up here, you guys. We, we, the, the neighbors across the street, the old couple, most amazing, good hearted people I've ever met. They've been there forever before we even moved in, into this neighborhood. The woman that lives through the woods over there, the most amazing hearted lady I've ever met. She actually contacted me and my wife and said, hey, if you guys can't find a place, cause she's moving out, but she's gonna sell her house as well. She said we could actually stay there for free as long as we find a place, but it's really small and I don't wanna, I, I told her thank you for the offer, but you guys, I don't want to impose on people like that. It just feels weird. Our, our friend over there, Emily, her brother bought that house and uh, he's renovating it. He's he's doing pretty good. Yeah, it's just a really nice street and neighborhood. I This piece of property here, you guys, I, I'm going to miss it because it was so, like we've had so many memories over here at the fire pit. I, rem I remember when we put this fire pit in. Excuse all the fireworks, stuff, debris left over. I haven't cleaned it out since 4th of July. Obviously, we haven't used it because we've had a lot going on this year. But this fire pit right here, you guys, growing up, me and my friends, growing up as teenagers, drinking beers around. We've had so many stories and wild times here. So many memories. I remember this this tree right here, from here over was all brush prickers and we cleared it all up to that point back there made like a grass it put the fire pit in we cleared some of the trees out um we've had so many parties here so many friends in and out so many family uh, memories here um every year right in front of the bulkhead we'd always put up like the pool for the kids because it was basically the only flat part it, it slopes up everywhere else <clears throat> Excuse my heavy breathing. <clears throat> yeah, we've always had a pool here, like a little four-foot pool. And then we, you know, at one point, you guys, a long time ago, when we were like 16-ish, we built a half-pipe ramp for skateboarding right here. It was about four feet wide by like four feet tall half pipe and then I, I eventually put a little pyramid ramp we had a bunch of ramps back here they always ended up getting uh wet from the rain and just destroyed and we'd tear, tear them down and rebuild like the next year but yeah there was a lot of skateboard memories um 
Got the hammock over here. So eventually we're gonna have to get a dumpster and we're, we're in the middle of boxing. We're in the middle of packing things up right now, even though we don't really even know where we're going. And we literally have like, what is it? A little under a month now. Like we're, we have, we have three different places we, we're looking at right now, but we're trying to wait. We're, we put applications in and we're waiting and we're in the middle of packing. Uh, my wife got a new job at this uh, restaurant in across the street. I'm actually thinking about going back to work doing carpentry, but you guys know my back is so bad. Some mornings I wake up, I, I can't even walk, let alone put a tool belt on and carrying heavy lumber across like a second floor, walking up a roof or something. But I have to do what I gotta do. I mean, because we have to move, our, our finance, finances, our bills are gonna go sky high and, I, and doing YouTube alone isn't gonna cut it. We were, we were making it by where I had a little things, little things here and there coming in with money, plus the YouTube, and then my wife was doing stuff too. But now, because we have to move, our finances are going to go way up. I don't know what our situation is. I might have to, I'm going to have to just deal with my back. I might have to go back to physical therapy and try to get the injection and to, to numb my back so I can make it through the day. I didn't want to have to do this but it's the only thing i know how to do as far as a job goes that actually makes some money and i'm pretty good at it i just gave it up because of my health but yeah sometimes you know life is life and it hits you right in the ass when you're least expecting it you got the uh target bear over there we haven't shot the uh the bow and arrow in a while but he's still standing over there um about a week ago we had uh three or four deer coming back in the woods right here eating there was like blackberry or raspberries growing over there uh we're probably going to give the kayak away throw away some of these old bicycles we have a bunch of stuff in the basement that is basically junk like cans of paint and tools that are like all just been sitting there. So it, there's a lot of stuff that we have to, we have a lot of work to do here. But I really am gonna miss the summers here, the winter. It's so private and it's in the countryside. And literally we get in our vehicle and quarter mile that, down that way is the beach or the other side of the main um, highway. And then a mile away from there is the ocean. And we're, we live on the coast all the way up and down the main route one here you go 20 minutes that way down route one you got beaches 20 minutes down that way you got beaches right across the street you got beaches so i love it here and then obviously we got the countryside over here and literally if you go through the woods two miles that way it's all indian um property the the narragansett and charlestown indians own all the land way back all there's an Indian church. They have powwows there every summer. Um, there's Camp David. I showed you guys in a video a long time ago. I was trying to go into Camp David, but it was no trespassing. The state of Rhode Island now owns Camp David, but I really wanted to show you guys that. Maybe someday I'll still get back there. But Camp David's back there. Um, yeah, we love it here, and it's just going to suck because now wherever we move is definitely not going to be as ideal as this piece of property in this quiet with a full house. But I've, I've done so much work to this house, too. I put new tile in the bathroom. I put Wayne's coating around, repainted the whole inside. I've reinstalled that door, put new trim around the French door. I hung up all this lattice. I've put pergo uh, flooring in the kitchen, uh, the the bedrooms. I've re-trimmed the downstairs. We've done a lot of work here, you guys. A lot of work. We put too much money into this house for the landlord just to take it and be like, see ya, good luck. You know, you guys, it really does. It hits hard because 
when you rent a house for as long as we've been renting it, you tend to forget, you almost forget that it's not really your house. It feels like it's your house. You're putting money into it. You've been here and you're so comfortable. And just like that, a snap of a finger, landlord calls us up and says, hey, no offense, you guys haven't done anything wrong. I'm just selling it. I need to get out of this. He's getting old. I, I, I totally understand where he's coming from. Him and his family had a meeting and they said, hey, why don't you sell the house? So, but just like that, it's over, you know? If I could purchase this house, even if I got a loan and I could get a house better than this house, I still would just buy this house. That way we wouldn't have to leave. It's This is home. This is our home, you guys. When you're here for like, as long as we've been living here, this is our home. So it does, even if we rent a house that's better than this one with a property that's even better, it feels like that's not home. This is home. So it's going to be an emotional few weeks coming up for the whole family and I. It really is. It's too bad. Like, I don't want to move. We don't, none of us do. We just want to stay here, enjoy the rest of our time. Uh, yeah, it sucks, you guys. That's why I was saying to some people in the live streams that this week is probably the last week. I'm going to live stream for a long time because once I break down my whole computer and the monitors and all the gaming wires and everything I have hooked up, microphones, cameras, all that stuff I use and pack it up, it's going to be a while before we, before I get it into a new place and hook it all back up. There's no telling how long it's going to be, you guys. So if you guys, hopefully I get this, hopefully I get this video uploaded to YouTube today or tomorrow. And if you're watching, definitely join the live streams. Mm. That is some good coffee. I appreciate every single one of you guys here. I really do. This video, this this channel started, what, six years ago? Five, five or six years ago? And you guys know I started it because I'm so passionate just to talk and have fun with you guys about movies, horror movies, gaming, and more. Vlogging. And let me just sit down for a second. Hey, Mr. Ant. Move. So, yeah, I just... Hold on. Yeah, so this this channel has come a long way. We're up to six... Do I have anything in my teeth? If I do, I apologize. I just had a bagel. It's not like... It's just a goober. Ooh. So, yeah. We're up to 6,000 subscribers. It's taken a long time. I screwed up my algorithm. I've learned something on YouTube. I learn... I, I preach this now. I Because I learn the hard way. Originally, when I started the channel, I said to myself, I want to be a variety YouTuber. I want to live stream. I want to talk about games. I want to vlog. I want to go outside the box. I want to go back inside the box. I bounce around too much. And I've learned that it's not how good of a YouTuber you are. That's part of it. You have to be entertaining and have good content. Don't get me wrong. But it YouTube has a system that works around the algorithm. And every time I see other YouTubers that are getting the high views, the high numbers, are the ones that stay true to one topic and one topic only. So if you guys start a channel, I highly suggest create something that you're going to stay true to every single video. Like I told my daughter this, and she started a channel, and she does, um, I know that game Roblox. She does house builds. That's all she does. Every single video looks almost similar to the last, but slightly different. And all she does is she builds houses in Roblox... And then she she edits the video and pieces it together, but then she fast forwards it. So it's like called the speed build. And she uploads speed builds of houses, like exterior, interiors. And she gets anywhere between 8,000 views to 50,000 views. A few times she's gotten 150,000 views. She's up to 31,000 subscribers. She's only 16 years old. And she's sometimes bringing in like three grand a month. 
and and it's all because of the algorithm she's staying true to like I, like i told her don't do what i'm doing but you know i enjoy doing this you guys even though i'm i screwed up the algorithm with my channel i'm gonna keep doing this maybe someday i'll start a new channel a secondary channel doing something that i enjoy doing that's one thing and one thing only but this is this is the channel you guys see and i'm always gonna be here i'm always no, this channel is never going to end no matter where we end up it's never going to end i'm always going to do camp facer same thing gaming going to be talking about texas chainsaw massacre the game coming out in 2023 killer clowns from outer space the game coming out in 2023 i'll always dive back into friday the 13th that's the game that started this channel basically and yeah and we'll do other stuff like talk about movies collectibles and more we have a discord now it's down in the description below the link i highly suggest if you guys want to contact me and talk to me on a daily basis join the discord it's free i'll always be there even if i don't have internet i have my phone and i can chime in on my phone on discord and we can hang out. We talk about everything over there. The The Discord isn't about me. It's about all of us. We have the community. It's 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 my Discord, but we all talk about the stuff. Games, or you want to watch a movie. We do movie nights sometimes in there. Uh, we talk about, hey, you want to play a game? Let's go hook up and play a game together. We just chat in there. It's a lot of fun. Mmm good coffee that's my last cup of coffee and this is the last time i'm gonna say goodbye to you guys here on this property because after today after this video i won't be doing any more vlogs here unless one of you guys out there has a lot of money and want to buy this house for us and and let us rent the house from you we'll continue like maybe like a buy to rent or rent to rent to buy type of deal you guys want to buy this house and this property the landlord's trying to sell it for, I believe, $350,000. Little does he know, there's a little work that needs to be done. Um, so I'm not sure. But if you guys want to buy this house, let me know. If, if your parents or somebody you know has money and want to buy it, but, but only if you rent it to us. That's, that's the deal. It's your house. You can come here, visit me. We'll ha I'll, hang I'll hang out here with by the fire with you if you're a fan. We'll have beers. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Tell your rich parents to buy the house and say, hey, the people that live there now are going to keep renting it from you, mom and dad. But we can go there. He said I can hang out with him. And if you're of age, we'll drink beers. Or even if you're underage, we'll just still hang out and I'll we'll drink coffee. We'll have a party. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. Save Camp Facer. That's what this video will be called. Save Camp. Save the Camp Facer. Anyways, I know I'm rambling on. I don't, I'm just being silly here. Okay, you guys. I'm going to end the video. Sayonara. Um, I just want to let you guys know one last time here, anyways. Be excellent to each other. and stay out of the way.